bought my younger self's dream wardrobe again. I bought all the items from all the stores that I either couldn't afford, wasn't allowed to wear at that time, or honestly, I was just too scared to walk into these stores as a middle schooler. <laughs> Last time we did this video, it was very like high school musical, mean girls, Hannah Montana inspired. Today we are going full Avril Lavigne, MySpace Tumblr girls, edgy with lots of pop culture sprinkled in. <laughs> they have Eclairs, we're going in. That's a store in 2006 that could drop some serious money at. It's popping too, there's a lot of people in there. Oh, she's getting her ears pierced. Ooh, that was traumatic. I got my ears pierced when I was 12, it didn't go over well. Eclairs? <laughs> yeah. We're getting really specific with the years on this one. These were trends that were popular from like 2006 to 2009. The swooped and poofed hair, angsty music. Oh my gosh, Netflix getting delivered in the mail. Sketchy online chat sites that would sneak onto the family computer in the middle of the night. Maybe that was just me. Peak celebrity drama, the housing market crash. Good times, no wonder we were all sad. A lot of our favorite celebrities were even getting in on these edgy punk scene trends. At the mall that's near me, all of these stores are like in their own corner of the mall. All in a row. And we're gonna find out what these early 2000s stores are doing these days. How have their styles changed, if they've changed at all? Oh, but look what it is. My favorite. Speaking of Lululemon, they're sponsoring today's video. I'm so excited. They let me pick out some items from their new summer collection and I have been loving them. So I wanted to show you some of my favorites. Personally, I'm very picky about my sports bras. If you are looking for support, coverage, quality, Lululemon is always gonna have your back and your chest. <laughs> this is one of my current favorites. It is the Wonder Train Longline Sports Bra. This is probably their most breathable, softest, and fastest drying high support sports bra that I've had from them. I love I love how much coverage it gives in the front, and I personally love the long line look of this one. And this one is the favorite of mine for maximum high support. Ideal for B through E cups. It is the Runtimes bra. There's no cup pads in this one, just these really nice built-in molded cups. And then I also love this perforated panel that's in the middle, which gives it some nice airflow. For more casual looks, I have so many of the Align shorts. And then I really like to pair them with either the perfectly oversized crews. I have quite the collection of these. They are so bomb. And then for warmer days, the all yours tea. I swear this is the staple tea to replace all other teas in your wardrobe. They are so soft and lightweight and luxurious. I will have every single one of these items that I mentioned today linked down below so you can shop them. Thank you so much Lululemon for partnering with me today and let's get back to shopping. So Tyler claims that PacSun was indeed 2006. I thought it was popular later. I personally didn't start shopping at PacSun until like late high school or college when like the Kylie and Kendall line was in full swing. They really stayed gearing towards preteens and the teens. So the Demilios have Hollister. Emma has packs on. Addison Ray has American Eagle, I think. <laughs> they know what they're doing. Oh, this is too teeny bopper for me now. Okay, so I'm imagining if I was 13 again, what would I be gravitating towards? Once again, I'm the oldest person in here. <laughs> but you know, maybe I fit right in because Tyler pointed out I was wearing the same pair of shoes that approximately seven teenagers in that store were also wearing. The, the Converse have made a comeback. Everything in the store is tiny. It's either one size. One size? We'll see how that goes. <laughs> or if they do have sizes, the biggest jean and skirt sizes I could find were like a 24 or 25. Like that's the biggest size. Oh, and the t-shirt section. It was actually in the boys section, but I had the time of my life. I loved these when I was little. <laughs> okay, maybe I'll get that. Outcast 2003. I don't know what that is. Wait, no, I do because I vividly remember roller skating to this exact song by them at this exact roller skating rink when I was in like third grade. Yep. This is what we're getting. So I found a few winners in that store. I'm gonna take all of this stuff and at the end of the video, turn them into some looks zoomies. I had a very small local mall growing up and out of all these stores, I think zoomies was the only one that we had. Zoomies did not have the selection I was hoping for. Can we talk about how this is the girl shoe section? And that is the guy shoe section. <laughs> <gasps> Wait, stop. Are these coming back? Or did they never leave? They never leave. <laughs> Those the were so popular for guys. Yeah, these were great. When we got married, you had a pair of these in your closet yes. still. Did I really? Yeah. Yes. I was really hoping to find some shoes here because Zoomies always had the good brands. The Vans, the Converse. Because I kind of wanted some black ones like this. But I already have these. 
well, we'll get shoes somewhere else. But luckily we do have a Journeys, which has all of those. And a good selection too. Every style and color of Converse or Van under the sun. Hot topic. This was one of the stores that always scared me a little bit as a kid, just because of the presentation of it. It was always so dark and spooky. But I never realized what a magical store this was. Oh, I need the you don't understand. <laughs> this was my favorite movie. Should I get a stitch hat too? This is so much better than I thought it was gonna be. This is literally where my obsession with fashion started. This video game. And I'm gonna play a clip and I hope somebody else played it too. It's from Jade. I better get that. My Let's go see Jade in Thrills with Frills. Just follow the arrow to- Really cute. Okay, I need this too. So this stuff was like fun and cute, but it wasn't exactly what I came in here looking for. So we meandered to the back of the store and there it was, the edgy stuff. All the things that mopey, angsty teenage hope wishes that she could have bought. Oh yes, this is what I came for. I could do some pants since I did a skirt at the last store. I really like that, yeah. Definitely a stud belt. Oh, I like this one that's all black. It's coming back, but now the term is e-girl. It's just so interesting to see these little like subcultures coming back to life. I've never actually been in this store. Moving on to Spencer's. But we're going in. I thought they would have more for me here than they did. And it makes sense that it was called a gift shop back in the day because they basically had like t-shirts and mugs and a little bit of jewelry and then the back section. And so now I remember why I never went into this store when I was 13. <laughs> Out of all the stores, I feel like this was the store that has changed the least. Not only did this mall have a Claire's, but they also had an icing. I know you remember both of those. <laughs> Claire's was geared towards like elementary middle school and then icing. I think was geared towards a little bit older. It was confirmed when I walked in and I saw they had a whole bridal section in the back half of the store. So obviously they're targeting 20 somethings. So I decided to shop there. It seemed a little more age appropriate. And I found some good stuff. As I was out shopping, a couple subscribers came up and said, hi. You guys look who it is. It's Which Hillary. made my whole day. <laughs> Everybody always recognizes Tyler before they recognize me. But if you ever see us out and about, do not hesitate to come say hi. I love it. Time to make some outfits. Okay, so I have a a darker look and a lighter look that we're gonna do but first we gotta handle the hair got these ultra high quality fake hair extensions at icing step one is to straighten the heck out of my hair and i attached the lovely little extensions to the very bottom layer and then the scary part to cut them to match the length of my hair this is terrifying because i only got one pack of hair so i can't mess it up okay it looks pretty good but does it match the length of my actual hair mm. Almost. But you know, for the sake of what we are using it for today, I think it will suffice. Next step, aggressive side part. But the aggressive side part isn't complete without an aggressive poof of the top. And I really tried. I put my best foot forward here. Maybe my hair was too greasy or something. But this was the look that we ended up with and it's okay, I guess. <laughs> and for the final step, we're adding a little bow, you know, to spice up the flat side. Wow, beautiful. All right, one size outfit, here we go. Oh my gosh, this is like the most accurate thing I've ever done in my entire life. So here's the base outfit, Pack Sun cardigan. And as I think we all guessed, our little one size skirt did not fit. Honestly, if it didn't have shorts built in, it might. So this is just the skirt I had. Now it's time to accessorize. To be super accurate, I feel like these should be like completely shredded up, but I might keep them and use them in the future. Do you guys also remember the weird leggings under everything trend? Specifically shorts. <laughs> wow, adorable. Got our studded belt. And I feel like the belt needed a little bit more spice. Okay, fishnet arm warmers. <laughs> and jewelry. Okay, I found these little earrings and I actually kind of love them. <laughs> the stacked bracelets were such a vibe back then. These were so popular in the early 2000s. The only ones they had were Riverdale ones. There it is. <laughs> oh my gosh. The shoes. This is what I got at Journeys. Just some good old fashioned converse. Childhood dreams really do come true. This is some of my best work. Okay, are we ready for the next outfit? We're going a little more punk princess. <laughs> so I have this adorable little t-shirt and dress from Hot Topic. I'm gonna do my white converse this time. We got these pink cut off glove thingies. And then I thought these accessories would be a fun touch with the gummy bears. <laughs> Listen, you picked a really interesting time to FaceTime me. <laughs> Literally. Okay, and then let's switch out the bow to this little guy. There we go. See, I feel like this is more accurate as to something I 
would have worn a lot. I went all in on this Lilo and Stitch stuff. We've got the little tank, this cardigan. This is so cute. Okay, we need to have a chat. I don't know if you guys are on TikTok, but there's like this trend going around where everyone talks about what's chuggy or out of style. Who cares? <laughs> Did you guys see the genuine happiness and excitement that this cardigan gave me? Oh, you don't understand. I will never care if somebody thinks it's out of style or lame, and you shouldn't either. This one is a little bit of an impulse purchase. I'm not sure where I'm actually gonna wear it. I'm gonna wear this one all the time. We had to get Miss Brittany. <laughs> oh, these are amazing. Well, thanks so much for hanging out with us today. Make sure to hit the subscribe button so you don't miss out on future videos. I also picked out some other videos I thought you might like, including my last 2000s haul if you didn't see it. And Leo and I will see you guys over in the next one. Say bye, YouTube.